Hi, let's talk a little more about valves, brass instruments, and how they work. As you can see, this is a potato, but it could just as well be a trumpet, or a flugelhorn, or a cornet, or a French horn, or a tenor horn, or a euphonium, or a baritone, because all of these instruments work on the same principles. For today, let's pretend it's a tuba. The principle we want to talk about today is not potatoes and their alternate identities, but rather musical notes and their alternate fingerings. For example, as you can see, I just produced the same note with two different fingerings. This phenomenon, which is quite common on brass instruments, is called alternate fingerings. For a variety of reasons, one fingering may be preferable over another in a certain passage, so it is important and certainly very helpful to know as many alternate fingerings as you can. Some of the reasons for using an alternate fingering may be that a certain fingering produces a pitch which is better in tune, or that a certain fingering may be easier for the fingers to play, or easier for the lips to play or that it produces a note with the tone quality that fits the rest of the passage. There are two types of alternate fingerings. Those that always work, we might call those global, and those that sometimes work, we might call those local. The best example of a global alternate fingering is substituting valve 3 for valves 1 and 2. This will work in any range of the instrument. The reason is simple. If I depress the dad and the baby, and I'm lowering the pitch by one and a half tones. And if I depress the grandfather, I'm also lowering the pitch by one and a half tones. If you have a fourth valve on your instrument, then there's one other global alternate fingering you'll want to know about. If you press the fourth valve, it's the same thing as pressing valves one and three. The fourth valve lowers the pitch by five half steps and valve three lowers it by three and valve one lowers it by two which also gives us five half steps. This also means by the way that instead of playing one two three I could substitute four for one and three meaning 2-4 would be a global alternate fingering for 1, 2, and 3. To see some examples of local alternate fingerings, let's take a look at a piano keyboard where the overtones of a trumpet in C have been marked with red beads. Let's say I want to produce this note here, which I could mark with a blue bead, I could either play that note by lowering this overtone, which I would have to do with valve 2 since that's a half step, or lowering this overtone, which I would have to lower 1, 2, 3, 4 half steps, which would be valves 2 and 3, right? So here, valves 2 and 3 can be substituted for valve 2 and vice versa. Now let's try a different example. Let's say I wanted to produce this note here. I could either lower this overtone a half step, so valve two, or this overtone, one, two, three, four, five half steps, which would be valve one and valve three, right? So here I could either use valve two or valves one and three. 
So for this note here, we could use valve 2 or 2 and 3, and here we can use 2 or 1 and 3. So you see that those are not the same, they are not global alternate fingerings, but rather local alternate fingerings. So now you know a little bit more about valved brass instruments and how they work.